We have five problems here to practice solving first order differential equations with uh, the integrating factor method. And uh, we know that we know that uh, the integrating factor involves this equation right here, y of t is equal is equal to one over rho of t times the integral of rho of t times q of t dt. So let's uh, identify what these uh, rows and q's are. Well, if we divide everything in here by t, the coefficient on y prime will be one, and whatever is attached to y here uh, will be what we call p of t, and then rho of t, which is our integrating factor, is e to the e to the uh, I believe negative integral. Give me give me one second. Uh, no, sorry, e to the e to the integral of p of x dx. If you can tell, it's been a little bit since I've uh, done this. So uh, armed with this equation, we should be able to uh, figure things out. So uh, dividing everything by t gives us the coefficient of 1 on y prime that we're looking for. And so p of t is 1 over t. That's our coefficient on y. So finding rho of t, that's e to the integral of 1 over uh, t dt. This is ln t, uh, which simplifies down to just t. So we can say that y of t is equal to 1 over t times the integral of uh, rho of t, which is t. And I think I forgot to mention what q of t is. q of t is just everything on the right-hand side once we uh, make the coefficient on y prime 1. So dividing all of that by t, that will give us, uh, well, it will give us something that we're just going to multiply by t again, so we can just write that whole write that whole uh, right side down, 3t squared minus 2t plus 2 dt. This is equal to 1 over t times t cubed minus t squared plus 2t plus c, and that's y of t. Now given that y at 1 equals 2, up here we can say that 2 is equal to 1 over 1, multiply by 1 minus 1 plus 2 plus c. So this gives us uh, this gives us 0 and then 2 on both sides we can subtract c is equal to uh, 0. So we can get that out of there and we're solving for y at 2. y for t is equal to 2 is 1 half times 8 minus 4 plus 4. That's just Four. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, two. We are finding y of t uh, at y of t equals two pi. So yet again, we have to divide everything by t so that our coefficient on dy dt is one over t over t over t. And so uh, finding rho of t, this will be e to the integral of p of t, which is 2 over t, our coefficient on y, dt. This gives us 2 ln t, and we can get rid of our e and our ln and replace uh, that with a t, and we get t squared as our integrating factor. So y of t is 1 over that integrating factor, t squared, uh, times the integral of rho of t multiplied by q of t, our right-hand side. Uh, so we'll get t sine t dt, and we're going to have to do uh, integration by parts here. So u is equal to t, du is equal to dt, uh, dv is equal to sine t, sine t, and v is equal to negative cosine of t. So now uh, we have y of t is equal to 1 over t squared times 
uh, uv, so negative t cosine t minus the integral of v du, so negative cosine t d t. Cancel out both of those uh, negatives. This integral will become sine of t. And uh, we need our plus c in there. Solving with our initial condition, uh, y at pi is equal to 0. 0 is equal to 1 over pi squared times, uh, let's see, negative pi times negative 1 is pi plus sine of pi is 0 plus c. So we see uh, that c must be negative pi for this to be true. So we add in that negative pi and we're ready to find y at 2 pi. y at 2 pi will just be 1 over 4 pi squared multiplied by negative 2 pi times 2 pi, uh, cosine of 2 pi, which is 1, plus the sine of 2 pi, which is 0 minus pi. This gives us negative 3 pi over pi squared, which is uh, negative 3 over 4 pi. Let's find the solution to this thing. Uh, we have to make the coefficient on y prime 1, so divide by 2t divide by 2t, divide by 2t. So p of t we see is uh, negative 4 over 2t, or just negative 2 over, over t. So rho of t is e to the integral of p of t, negative 2, negative 2 over t dt. This gives us negative 2 ln t, and uh, hopefully you're catching on how this usually goes. Uh, our t will come down here, and we have t to the negative 2. So y of t is equal to 1 over rho of t, so t squared times the integral of t to the negative 2, that's our rho of t, multiplied by q of t, this thing over here. That will be 2t cubed e to the t squared dt. Multiplying this out, we get t squared times the integral of 2t e to the t squared dt. We can say that u is equal to t squared, du is equal to 2t dt, and this integral becomes t squared times the integral of e to the u du, which gives us t squared e to the uh, t squared plus c. And that's our y of t. We can use this y at 1 equals 0 to say that 0 is equal to 1e plus c. So c has to be negative e, like that. Uh, so we get uh, t squared. Oh, did I forget to? Did I forget to? Yes, I did. Look at that. So. Um, Here's a good mistake. I hope you caught it when I made it. This is the kind of thing that I'll keep in uh, because the, if, if, you're, if you're really watching, hopefully you, you saw it happen. I added a plus c over here when really I should have uh, distributed this t squared to both e to the t squared and c. So this is plus c t squared. That gives us, uh, when we solve y at 1 equals 0, 0 equals e plus c. c is still negative e, but then uh, we get answer choice a. Right? Yeah, okay. Uh, again, we are doing the same thing. These problems get pretty repetitive pretty quickly. Dividing everything by t, dividing everything by t to give our uh, coefficient of 1 on y prime, we can find P of t is just negative 2 over t, like we saw in the last problem. That leads to uh, rho of t being uh, e to, uh, sorry, t to the negative 2, but let's solve for it, e to the integral of negative 2 over t dt. 
This gives us negative 2 ln t, which simplifies to t to the negative 2. So y of t is equal to 1 over rho of t times the integral of rho of t, 1 over t squared, times uh, q of t, which in our case is t cubed. This simplifies down to t dt, so we get t squared times t squared over 2 plus c, which is t to the fourth over 2 plus t squared c. We see that y at 1 equals 0, so 0 is equal to 1 half plus c. c is equal to negative 1 half as a result, and we're finding y at 2. So plugging in 2, y at 2 is equal to 2 to the fourth is 16 over 2, which is 8, plus 4 times uh, negative 1 half is negative 2, so we get 6. And finally, uh, we're finding a general solution to this thing right here. Same thing we always do, divide by x squared, divide by x squared, divide by x squared, and uh, our p of t will be 2 over t. That will give us a row of t of t squared because uh, we'll end up with e to the 2 ln t, which simplifies down to uh, t squared. And so we can write y of t as 1 over t squared times the integral of t squared times uh, this q of t, which is e to the, oh, I'm using t's here. They're using x's. We're just going to continue on with the t's. Uh, e to the, and that's a highlighter, uh, e to the 3t over t squared. That gets rid of all that. We're left with this. This gives us 1 over t squared times 1 third e to the 3t plus c, and that's all equal to y of t. And uh, that looks like that's all they want us to do. We can rewrite this as 1 over 3t squared, or we'll, we'll use their x's, x squared e to the 3x plus c over x squared. Um, oh, you gotta love it how they put the x in the denominator down here, but then they say x to the negative 2. So it makes, makes a whole, whole lot of sense, uh, but there is our answer right there. This was actually a really great review for me because now I gotta go off and do the, all the salt tank applications questions, which uh, is just this all over again, but with more real numbers. So hopefully uh, this was as helpful for you as it uh, was for me.